here at Auto Club Speedway, the American Superbike race, and Larry Pegram on the 72 machine leads the way from Jake Zetke. Ducati's going to win this one, and I just looked at him and smiled, and he had it all wrapped up. I'd be happy to come back to U.S. after the first experience in the Ridge. So I want to, t I want to thank you, uh, Bobby from HSBK and Ducati North America. They give the give me this this chance, and especially with the new news, with the new bike, with the super bike spec of Go 4 l I'm so happy about this because Ducati understand the, the potential of the project in the uh, North America. So this time uh, they give me the maximum support with the, the bike and, and also two engineers. So uh, that is really, really important. And if you want to build uh, a good result. I think I have all ingredients to, to do a good weekend. And I'm also to be happy to be back in Indianapolis after 12 years of my first uh, race here in 1 to 5. It's a long time, but I have a good memory because uh, I did uh, the first place in the Q1 on the Friday. So I have a good memory. Of course, they change a lot in 10 years, change the category, some horsepower more. But anyway, I. I want to, to start the, the weekend uh, in a good way and uh, I'm so positive. Things start on a good way this weekend. I'm enjoy immediately from this morning uh, the potential of the super bike spec of V4 Ducati V4 is uh, I think really good base. So when I'm start this morning, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I can do. So when I finish the session on the P2, uh, just uh, some tense to Carmen on. I understand they have the potential this weekend. So uh, during the second session, I struggled a bit to find a grip. Uh, maybe needed to, to see the data today. But uh, when I put the coup tire, I say me, all right, now I'm coup tire. I try to do my best and try to keep a uh, front row. So the target, the, the target arrived. I did second place. Just missed the pole position for a mistake on the higher pain. But anyway, I think uh, uh, nobody expected who are immediately on the top on the first day. So that is important. It's important for tomorrow to start from the front row. That is the target. I don't want to think a lot about tomorrow on the race, on Sunday race. Just want to enjoy and um, keep the best result that I can. Because uh, everything is new. The potential is high, but uh, never say no on the race. on the podium so the target the goal is arrived. What about Zanetti on that Ducati? Here we go for the third time. But anyway I'm I'm happy half part of me is happy because arrive on the podium is anyway is a good uh, is a good way to start the weekend for the first race. But uh, 
my second part is not happy because uh, I manage well the race, I arrive on the top, I run first place. And Zanetti goes to the front in Hono Superbike on a Ducati that just arrived in the U.S. shores a couple of weeks ago. So when I want to try to did the maximum and try to take a gap, I did a mistake, stupid mistake. I missed the gear, I am go on the gravel. So for this I'm not happy because I put off my the best result. But anyway, I go back. I'm not lose the concentration. Keep uh, focused and did my best and catch Tony Lewis in third place. In third place, catch him and did a podium. So anyway, it's a good way for the first race. This is a live look outside in the Columbus area. We are starting off our day with areas of thick fog. And you can see that at Columbus, there's also a dense fog advisory that has been issued for parts of central Indiana, including just north of downtown Indy and also to the west and southwest near Bloomington, Greencastle, Terre Haute, all included in the dense fog advisory, Lebanon, Noblesville, and in the Muncie area. Anyway, it's a great, great weekend. Three race, three podium, one victory this morning. Lights are off, clutches are out, and we're on our way. So Lorenzo Zanetti going up the inside. They're side by side. Is there room in there? Zanetti with his eyes forward, and he'll take over second spot. Yeah, I have a good memory about uh, not the last win of Ducati, but the last Italian that win on Ducati because it's my friend uh, Alex Gramigni. So for me, it's a double emotional, no? And yeah, about Ducati, today arrived many compliments, so great congrats. So everybody's happy to go back on the, on the top of Moto America. Yeah, it's an unbelievable day. It's amazing. Um, if I think uh, one or two months ago, nobody, no many people trusting me. If I'm able to arrive here in the US and, and win. So I think this is a, this is a great day for me and for, um, for the team and for Ducati. Just enjoy the moment and, and want to thank uh, Ducati North America, Ducati New York, Warhorse and Bobby from HSBK to give me the, this chance. 